I am on Willowdale Drive with Michelle at Partners in Care Boutique. I had no idea this was here. Well, I'm so glad you discovered I, us. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know. It only took me however long. But uh, what a what a great, first of all, great little shop that you guys have here. Yes, we're very lucky. We have uh, donations coming in on a daily basis. Okay. We get so many wonderful things from housewares to clothing to shoes to handbags. Yep. Um, so and it, you there's were, always something new to yeah, discover. Yeah, I bet. I, and that would be fun just to work here, seeing <laughs> what little treasures come in each day. So on the one side, you can, uh, people of Frederick can donate uh, mm -hmm. no children's and no furniture, no children's clothing, no kids mm -hmm. either. You can't drop off your kids, but no, no, no kids, definitely don't. No, no kids clothing. <laughs> And uh, no furniture, just because of space-wise as right. well. Right. Yeah. Uh, but women's clothing and jewelry, and yeah, it's a men's really, clothing. Yeah. Pretty much any, housewares, any items like that. You know, we're happy to have. And just know too that if for some reason we're not able to put it on the floor or um, sell it over a certain amount of time, we do donate it to AmVets. Okay. So we don't throw anything away. Nice. So it always goes to either back to our organization or to the AMVETS program. Okay, so tell me Partners in Care, uh, and I just read on the uh, on your mm -hmm. wall here. Right. So you are focused on the aging population. Correct. And how do you help the those people? So Partners in Care is a nonprofit organization. Um, they've been in Maryland for about 30 years in the Frederick area, probably I want to say close to nine years. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially, we provide services to aging adults in the, that are remaining home, primarily transportation and handyman services. Oh, wow. So um, we are what we call a service exchange. So our volunteers, while they're helping us in the boutique or driving our members, are banking time for the future down the road. So say you drove me to a doctor's appointment, and then in five years, you need a ride to the doctor's, some you have already banked time. I got gotcha. you. So it's it's a very unique program in that sense. Interesting. Um, not many of the organizations do that where you can volunteer right. to receive services. Right. In the event that an individual at some point cannot volunteer, we do offer a fee based um, option okay. at that time. So. Um, but it's it's a very um, unique program in that sense. It's yeah, been I'd love cool. to see the database on keeping track of all of that. Um, obviously, yeah. <laughs> for years and years to come. Um, very interesting. So, if someone is at home and has uh, any sort of repair, you guys um, will help. No, it's very limited. Okay. Just because our our handymen <laughs> are volunteers. Yes. Yeah. We're not. We don't have electricians or you know, gotcha. uh, you know, general contractors on hand. Right. So they're all volunteer based. So what we focus on is safety related items. Gotcha. So if an in a member needed a grab bar installed in the shower, mm -hmm. we would, you know, try and make that happen for them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how do you get your volunteers and then, you know, how to kind of explain how the whole process works then, if I were um, to come in and... I think at this point, if you were to come in mm -hmm. um, and want to volunteer, you go through an orientation you know, appointment with us. Mm -hmm. um, you decide whether or not you want to drive for us or work in the boutique or both, or mm -hmm. um, there's other options as well. But um, it, I think what's happening now with Frederick is people are starting to hear about us. Mm -hmm. So every month I'm getting more and more phone calls. Hey, I'd like to volunteer. Mm -hmm. Or even for individuals that need our services, more and more people are finding out about that now. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's just say I was at a point where, you know, I'm elderly and I'm at home mm -hmm. and I uh, I need a ride. Okay. How do the, so the process? Yeah. How okay. do they reach So essentially out? Um, we do a home intake cuz obviously they're not driving, mm -hmm. so we don't expect them to come here. I would go visit with them or and another volunteer um, and do the application process with them. Mm -hmm. It's pretty straightforward. It's not income based. Right. It's, you know, it's um, based on needs as opposed to that. Sure. So, um, but we do provide transportation services outside of the county. Right. So, if so they're in Frederick County, but they're need to go to Gaithersburg right. or, or Johns Hopkins. Even we have drivers that are willing to go that far. Right. Okay. And then if somebody hasn't 
banked their time, then that is all a fee. That's the fee member based, fee. Member yeah, the fee. fee. There's yeah. a member mm -hmm. fee. Okay, mm -hmm. very interesting. Um, what other, so other than transportation, is it really just transportation and handyman type services? Primarily. Okay. Primarily. Okay. Um, but, you know, if a member calls in and has some issues with, you know, I've been trying to find a service, we're happy to help with navigation in that sense. Oh, right. You know, yeah, we're willing to step in, and that's just part of the program itself. Yeah, we're here to yeah. help. Just to be a resource uh -huh. to them. That's yes. really, really cool. So if there was one thing you kind of wanted people of Frederick who hadn't heard of you to walk away knowing about Partners in Care, what, what would that be? Um, just know that Partners in Care is here to support the elderly in our community. We want them to remain home. Um, we want them to feel safe. Mm. And we want them to be able to get out in the community and be apart socially at times, too. Yeah. So um, we don't want any of our members to be you know, feeling as though they can't get to a doctor's appointment or they can't get to the grocery store. We're here to assist in that process yeah, for them. Yeah, absolutely. And then is there information on the fee-based structure on your website or how do people find out about um, the members? That's usually a conversation with me, okay. but um, it's very minimal. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, if you want to do a comparison, it's definitely cheaper than an Uber. Okay. <laughs> and you, you know, I mean, it, it, yeah. it's very nominal. Yeah, you're making, yeah, yeah, you want to make it mm -hmm. so that they can do it if right. they need it. Because, you not. know, a lot of times some of these individuals aren't a fixed income. Right. I mean, uh, who is in these right. days? But, Absolutely. Um, we, you know, it's definitely an affordable. Yeah. So is there, and I still feel like you guys are kind of new in Frederick, mm -hmm. um, is there, do you guys have any sort of goals on like numbers of members you want or any sort of thing like that that you're trying to achieve, you know, over the next 12 um, months or so? Right now, uh, I don't have a, an actual member, I mean, goal mm -hmm. in that sense um, as an organization. We strive to make sure that we are getting out in the community so they're aware of us. Mm -hmm. And that way we can bring in as many as possible. Yeah. So. And so as a nonprofit, you fund primarily through the boutique mm -hmm. then? Okay. And uh, donations. Okay. Or sponsorships as okay. well. So, and then back to the fee-based thing for right. some of our members, that goes all back into the program yeah. and allows us to continue doing what we're doing. Yeah, do you guys do any fundraisers specifically like throughout um, the year? Frederick currently has not okay. um, since I've been here, um, but our Pasadena office does. Okay. Um, so that, that we do a bowl and oyster in oh, event yeah. in um, November. Um, so if you wanna go to Pasadena, <laughs> check it out. It's on our website, yeah. but... Um, no, yeah, you know, it's more based on we go to elder expos, we go to mm. nonprofit summits, we do those right. kind of things and get the word out. Yeah. So people then end up donating. It's just, it's a lot of outreach. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because obviously, the more people who know about you, the more you can help, mm -hmm. and the more hopefully donations or mm -hmm. funds exactly. that you'll get to keep going, you know, long term. Now, I think you said so the Partners in Care corporate organization has been around how long? 30 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. just this year. Okay, yeah. very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I guess it's nice to kind of have other locations that have mm -hmm. built and grown. You kind of have a blueprint on right. what made that work. And yes. how are you finding the Frederick community when you are out in, you know, do you work with other organizations here that also um, work with? I'm, I'm trying to, yeah. absolutely, you know, especially like home health care organizations, yeah. because we don't offer that service, but they do, sure. where they don't offer transportation, but we do, sure. so we kind of go back and forth with that, and I'm trying to make sure that all these organizations here are aware of partners in care yeah, and what, what we provide. Do. Right. Yes. Yeah, because I think you're all once once somebody is in need and they have a connection with one person, mm -hmm. it's much nicer if they can kind of still deal with that one person and that one person can filter information until right. they kind of hand help it them off navigate, to the navigate, right, yeah, yes. to the right mm -hmm. place. That's fantastic. So, uh, what is the website where people can it's go? It's partnersincare.org. Okay. Very good. So. And like you said, is there a reason you guys focus on donating to veterans? And I saw on the back you have a veterans uh, banner hanging mm -hmm. up here that you support. Um, it, well, and Partners in Care you know, fully wants to support our veterans. Yeah. Um, the program is essentially, you know, we try and match veterans that might want to be a phone buddy mm. with a veteran that can't get out of the house Aww. or a veteran 
a driver who was a veteran is picking up a member who's going to a doctor appointment that's a veteran. We try and match them oh, up like that. Oh, that's great. Because they have some commodity there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that'd be very nice. Maybe uh -huh. they find a new friend. Right. Too, along well, that ends up happening because a lot of our volunteer drivers will tend to pick up the same member. Right. So it, it ends up being a social interaction oh, for the member that's great. and the driver. Yeah. So, um, I've heard some great stories I from bet. members and drivers yeah. on that side. Everybody wins. We yes, love that. Yes. <laughs> well, Partners in Care, if you want to come shop at the boutique, it is 5 Willowdale Drive, right on the end. We're kind of right behind Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC now. <laughs> they took the fried out. Anyway, you can come see Michelle, the volunteers, and the other managers here. Shop for some goodies. You never know what you can find. Or if you want to donate, you can do that when they're open. You said 10 to 6. Monday through Saturday. Monday to Saturday. We want to thank Michelle. Partners thank in you, Care Danny. Thank for you being for coming a part of the great community. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks. you're welcome. Come see us.